who's up for a challenge? Well, apparently I am because my friend Megan at Pennies and Salt challenged a lot of her YouTube and Instagram friends to do a grocery budget challenge in February of 2021 and I said yes. Rachel from Seven and All. And in this video, I'm going to be introducing how I am challenging myself with our grocery budget in February 2021 as part of the grocery budget challenge. And if you want to join this, you can too. If you have an Instagram account or a YouTube account on Instagram, make sure to use the hashtag grocery budget challenge 2021. Yes, that's a mouthful, but you just have to type it. You don't have to say it um, on your post. And you can follow Megan at Pennies and Salt. You can also follow me at Seven and All Family on Instagram if you want to see my progress as well. So let's get into the challenge. Now, each mom who is challenging themselves with their budget is doing it in their own way, in a way that's challenging for them and for their family, the best fit for their family. And if you know me, you might know that I live overseas. I live in Southeast Asia. I am originally from the US, but I have been away for quite a long time now. Um, so I'm actually not very certain what even food prices are like these days in the USA. Um, I will be converting my prices into US dollars because so many of my audience is from America and I think that's the currency we all understand best. But as you watch this challenge, please do note that we aren't actually spending US dollars. We don't actually earn US dollars. So um, just like in different parts of the world, living costs do look different. So if you're shocked by, surprised by any of our prices or our budget, that's a big part of it is that simply life costs different in different parts of the world. In some places, food is very, very expensive. In other places, it's very inexpensive. And then some places are right in the middle. So my challenge to myself is actually to write down everything that we spend on food for this month for my family of four. And this is a challenge to me. My family does abide by a budget. We have a budget that we keep track of every month. However, I just lump everything like food, groceries, gas, monthly bills together in one big living expenses category. I'm not 100% sure that's how budgets are supposed to work, but it's worked for me for many years um, that I have this kind of set amount for our general monthly expenses and we spend from that. But I don't actually know how much of it goes toward our food and groceries. So I'm going to write down everything that we spend and I am going to shoot to keep it under 250 US dollars for our family of four in a month. Now, my two sons are very young, um, but they're both uh, completely eating food now. My younger son does drink some um, powdered milk um, type of toddler formula at the moment um, because powdered milk is cheaper than fresh milk here. <laughs> uh, but so we do have four people eating. They're young, so they don't eat like teenagers will at some point in the future. <laughs> um, but um, my husband and I also have a pretty good appetite as well. My husband just started a new kind of eating habit diet. He is concerned about his blood sugar levels. So he is working on eating a more low carb diet, really limiting snacks, really watching what he's eating right now. He just started that about a week ago. So I don't really know how that's going to impact our budget yet. Uh, I know buying like carbs tend to be more cheap foods. When you're eating low carb, you have to eat more proteins, more fats, and those can be a little bit more expensive. But if he's not eating snacks, that might end up saving us a good chunk of money too. So I'm very interested to see how that turns out. But yes, my overall number is to try to stay under $250. And I will see if that's realistic or not. And you can follow my progress throughout the month. I'll be posting a bonus video, which is like going to be an update video, something like a shop with me. So you can experience how we shop in our um, local market. I'll post some budget meal ideas types of things and I'll give you updates on probably one video a week throughout February. Now my big thoughts on a grocery budget and just some things for you to think about if you're thinking about challenging yourself to reassess your grocery budget uh, is to think about balance. I think when it comes especially to a food budget, we need to be balancing some really big factors. The first factor, of course, is 
money. We don't want to be necessarily overspending. We want to spend within our means. We shouldn't be going into debt to buy groceries, ideally. Um, and different seasons of life, you might have more or less money at your disposal. So your grocery budget is going to look different depending on how much money you have. Number two factor you need to consider is health. We all know that sometimes the cheapest foods, actually many times the cheapest foods are not the healthiest foods. So finding that balance of what types of healthy foods can you reasonably fit into your budget? How can you prioritize health, prioritize quality ingredients in the way that's important to you while also living within your means? And the third one is of course flavor uh, and fun and hospitality. I kind of roll all those things in together. Um, we, we don't live to eat. Um, but eating is a really big part of life. Eating is a way that we show love and hospitality to others. So even within challenging myself to live within my means, save money, I don't want to be uh, limiting food in such a way that I'm not feeding my family food that they truly enjoy or that I'm feeling like, oh, I can't have company over because I want to stay within a very small food budget and I don't want to bless other people with food. Um, some of so many big families that I've known, people living on small budgets, have been some of the most generous families I have ever known as far as just being so willing to feed anybody. Uh, my husband and I used to go on bike rides and ride past our relatives home around dinner time and they would always invite us in and there was always extra food for two more plates at the table and I have been so inspired by so many families that share their food with others that that is also a big value to me and an area where I want to grow in hospitality in being able to feed other people beyond just my own family. So that is it, the grocery budget challenge. I hope that as I create content supporting this challenge throughout the month that I will inspire you to think intentionally about your own grocery budget and the values that your budget represents. I also hope that I get to share a little bit more about our life in Southeast Asia with you and kind of the, just the different foods we eat, the different habits that we have to have. Um, for example, I don't keep a big pantry stock at all because a large pantry stock is an invitation for rats, cockroaches, and other creatures to enter your home. So I keep a very small stash of food on hand just because our local climate doesn't really allow you to keep stuff for months without it getting moldy or full of bugs. I buy my rice in small bags because I have had too many bad experiences of spending 15 minutes washing every last weevil out of a bag of rice. That's not fun. So I don't have a pantry stash to raid for this challenge. <laughs> I do buy food in small amounts frequently. We live in an urban area so we can just get straight to market, get straight to the grocery store to get what we need. So when I say I don't have a lot of food in my pantry, this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> we have mostly a bunch of teas here. Here's some rice. I've got some noodles, pasta here. The, the boys really like these little things and one bag of this will feed the two of them uh, for maybe two meals so that's really nice and cheap here's some spaghetti and this was from christmas stocking stuffer a treat for them sometime i have one can of beans i'm not sure how that's helpful do we ever use just one can of beans we have some ramen noodles in case of emergency uh, pasta sauce to go with the pasta Milo, our local version of hot chocolate, some snacks, and up there is a box of Lucky Charms that my husband bought for himself for a treat like the day before he decided <laughs> to go low carb and eat a pretty strict diet. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that. All right, thank you so much for watching. If you're excited uh, for this challenge, definitely give this video a like and you can comment down below. Share with me some of what, what values feed into your grocery budget system. And 
uh, I haven't announced this yet on this channel, but our family started a family adventures channel. So if you want to see more about our family and kind of our local surroundings, this beautiful rainforest world that we live in, you can follow Seven and All Adventures on YouTube. I will link to that channel somewhere around here, probably a card up there, and you can follow that. All right, see you next time.